Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to do picture in picture. This is really, really common in things like uh, TV shows, like news shows, or maybe uh, if you're doing gaming and you want to have your, your, your webcam, your face inside overlaid on top of your video. All easy stuff to do, guys. I'll show you how to do it real quickly here. Now, the footage I've selected is a waterfall, and I did that because it's stock footage, and I'm just trying to show you a technique. You don't need to... We don't need to go too far down the rabbit hole in terms of getting, you know, authentic footage for that. So let's just go right into that. I've drag and drop that into the timeline. You'll see that right there. Bingo. And I'm going to take a second piece of footage and put it on top of that. And this footage is, well, it's like a sunset. So we're going all uh, nature in this one. And I've gone ahead and trimmed it so they're both the same length. Now, obviously, you're looking at this and you're saying, hey, I don't see the waterfall anymore because, yeah, in the layer stack, the, the new footage is on top of it, and it uh, it overwhelms the underneath footage. I guess that's what we'll call it. So anyways, guys, the way you want to do this is you want to go to your uh, effects panel. I'm just going to go ahead and delete out these effects. I'm going to go to my effects panel. For me, it's here, but if you don't have yours open, you go to Window, drag and drop all, or drop down, and when you see effects, have the check mark clicked. Now, in the window here, in the little search bar, pardon me, you just want to type in PIP. Not P.I. This isn't a 50 cent video, guys, but if it was, <laughs> and then you're going to see when you drag and drop, when you drop it down, there's P.I.P.s. Drop that down, and then there's 25% P.I.P.s, and then, boom, we go down, and there's left L.L., which means left side, left bottom, and then there's left right. Then there is left left, 25% uh, motion, then there's upper left. And then there's upper right. We want to go with lower right, pardon me. It means left right, uh, lower right, not left right. Uh, we want to go with LR because that's the most common one. And we're going to go ahead and select the 25% left right. Drag and drop that on the top piece of footage. And boom, you've got, yeah, you've got some picture in picture. Now, this might not be the exact dimension or size that you're looking for. That's okay. You're going to see that it's a bounding box, and I can go ahead and make some changes to it. So if I want to increase its height, yeah, there we go. Now, it is it is scaling uniformly, so I'm making it bigger and smaller. I'm going to Command or Control-Z if you're on a Mac. It's Command-Z. If, um, if you're on a PC, it's Control-Z. So it's the original size, and if you want to change the proportions so that they don't uh, scale uniformly, you just want to go over here to your effect controls panel, go down to motion effects here, and then you're going to see uniform scale. Unclick that. Now watch. Whoa, Nelly. All right, that wasn't what I was looking for. But anyways, guys, now I can go ahead and make it bigger, smaller. Let's go ahead and shrink it, and you're going to notice, yeah, it's going ahead and adjusting the size as I see fit. So if I just want to make it taller, um, guys, you can go nuts there. Now, I do have to warn you, if it's not uniform in scale, you might get some distortions. But again, I mean, hey, whatever. I mean, depending on what you're looking for. So let's say that this is the size and this is okay with me. Go back to the front of the timeline and I'm going to click doo -doo 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 -doo, and boom, you're going to see both of them inside the footage. Now, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you the second way. Uh, let's go back, and this is actually potentially easier, uh, depending on what you're looking for. I'm going to go back to the project. I'm going to drag and drop this footage back in again. And this time, I'm going to just go click on the top footage, and then I'm just going to change the size. Watch what I'm talking about. So if I reduce the scale, for example, I've got it. And I just can now reposition it, double click. Oops. All right, come on, Curtis. And then if I take it and I can reposition it, so if I want to move it over to the right, sure, I want to drop it down or up, and I can go and do it that way as well. Now, this way might work better for some of you guys, uh, depending on, you know, the type of footage you want, but really that's all there is to it, guys. Um, creating picture-in-picture -picture effects is awesome. Uh, I'll delete that, and I'll do it one more time just to show you a third style. Um, I'll, again, I'll trim it to the same size. Go picture in picture. So we're going to go to the effects, which is down here. I'll do PIP. And then, yeah, you can see here that if you really want to throw in some weird, cool, let's go to LR for lower right. But if you want to do some scaling, you want it to scale in, like you want to have some sort of motion graphic y uh, effect on it, piece of cake, you can go up and do it that way. Let's go ahead and drag in. Let's spin this thing in. What the hell, right? So if I drag and drop it on there, if I go to the beginning and I click on it, watch. 
Here she goes. It spins in. That's some cool motion graphene effect. Um, I'm going to delete that one. I'll show you maybe scale down from full. This is a this is a really good one actually. Um, and I'll do this one as the last one just to show you what Adobe Premiere Pro is capable of doing if this interests you. And now you're going to see that it's scaling down. And it's scaling down pretty damn slowly. Um, but uh, anyways, you guys get the point. So that's how you do picture in picture. That's the, all the different ways that I know of. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back more with some more stuff shortly. Thanks for watching.